Okay, welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to walk through Lesson 3 Drawing in Game Lab. This is my second time through it because I just did this and Active Presenter crashed and I lost it. So I'm on level 1 right now. You can't see that, but this is level 1. In this lesson we were introduced to a number of new f drawing functions for drawing shape. And we were also introduced to positioning in our code and how uh, the sequence in which we draw things to the screen matters in terms of what will overlap what. So here in level one it says, welcome to Game Lab where you can create interactive animations and games. You've already practiced the basis of putting shapes on a grid. In Game Lab you'll do the same with the display area on the left. Look at <clears throat> the line of code in the workspace below. These instructions and discuss with your partner where you think the shape will be drawn on the grid. Write your prediction in the text box below. Click run. And I've already done this. I predicted that this will draw a rectangle to the screen with its center at 100 and 100. And I was wrong. If we turn on the grid here, the center of the rectangle is not at 100, 100. The upper left corner is. So again, remember that when we draw shapes to the screen here. It positions them by the upper left. That's important. Moving on to level two. Here's the same line of code from the previous level. Change the numbers inside of the block, then try running the program again. Try to place the rectangle near the bottom right of the screen. So so remember, it places the, the, the rectangle by its upper left corner, and I want it to, and it's a 50 by 50 rectangle, so it's gonna cover this box here, which means I need to place it at 350, 350. There it is. Moving on to level three. A big part of using Game Lab is understanding position. Remember, you can always turn on the grid or hover with the mouse to get coordinates. Place two rectangles exactly in the corners of the screen, just like the picture here. So we have one, the one that we just did that is in the lower right. And then we need one way up in the upper left. And that upper left corner is at zero, zero. So zero, zero. 350, 350, boom, moving on, level four, we're flying, and you can make rectangles with different colors with fill, it will set the color for every shape that comes after it in the code, remember that this is like dipping your paintbrush in the paint, everything you paint on the canvas after you dip that paintbrush is going to be that color until you dip it in a different color, uh, which means using a different fill, so we're gonna end up with three rectangles. Let's start, start it over. We're gonna end up with three rectangles like this or something similar. We already have two. We need to change them from blue to yellow and we need to add another one and there it is. Moving on to level five. In Game Lab, it matters what order your code is in. New shapes are drawn on top of the ones that came before, covering up the shapes that are drawn first. You can see the difference when you use more than one color in your code. Look at the code that draws the two rectangles. First is drawn red, the second is drawn blue. Change the red rectangle's color to green and change the order so the green rectangle appears on top. So we just need to grab, we just need to change the red to green and then we need to grab these and move them to the bottom so they're drawn second. Bingo! Moving on to level six. You can use ellipse to make a circle, look, or an ellipse. Look at the code that makes the ellipse. Add a new ellipse of a different color. Add a new ellipse of a different color. There it is. Let's do the practice. Debug the car. Practice level A. We need to move the wheels so you can see them. And we have six rectangles and two ellipses. So really all I need to do is grab these three code blocks and move them to the bottom and that should draw them last so we can see the wheels. And let's go to debug the flower. I'm gonna turn my grid on here. This, we're gonna do this pedal first. This pedal is located at 100, 200, an X of 300 and it's the only one with an X of 300. So that's this right here. We just need to shift this left, so we're gonna change the X value and we're gonna leave the Y value the same. The X value is gonna be whatever, it's gonna be the same as this. So the difference between, so 200 minus this X value is gonna be 
This is the smallest X, so 160. So that's 40. I think this is going to have a X value of 240. That doesn't seem right. Oh, yeah, maybe it is right. Let's try that. Yep, that looks just like the picture. The picture actually doesn't look, this one should be moved down very slightly. I don't think that's that important, but this should not be 195. That should be more like 200. Now, now it matches the picture. And this pedal should also be moved down. That is the 180. This should be 240. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um, and then this pedal is going to be moved up and left. So it should have 200 minus this X value is 200 plus. This has the great, this has a X of 180. So I think this one's going to be 220. Um, I think it's going to be 220. Uh, yeah, that's right. And it's going to have the same Y value as this pedal, which is 240. Bingo! Debug the stoplight. So the stoplight's all mixed up. Make it look like this. So we have black needs to become red. Red becomes yellow and yellow becomes green. Black becomes red, red becomes yellow, yellow becomes green. And we don't even need this last one, do we? Yeah, we do. <laughs> what? Why did it? We don't need this. There we go. Start it over. The thing about the car is we we already had a car drawn in level A, level 7A, right? Why can't we just copy the code? Well, you can't copy and paste the code in there. I tried it. But what we can do is we can take a screenshot. And I, I that's how I did it. It's way faster. Let's put this over here. Okay. We got a fill. We've got six rectangles. We've got a fill. We've got two ellipses. 100. 250. 150. 250. 200. 250. 250. 250. Bingo. Yellow car. Now we need to fill these green. And then I think we're gonna fill these blue. And then the wheels are red. Bingo, there it is. I mean, we didn't really get practice placing these, but that was a lot faster. So moving on to level 7E, the shape of shapes. And we're asked to recreate this triangle made of circles. So I just stepped away from this and came back to it and strangely enough depending on the link that I follow I get a different set of practice on level 7. I think that they changed this and moved 7D and E into the challenges and so if you and your practice are only seeing A, B, and C here the car, the flower, and the stoplight I think that's like the new version or something. I think they updated it and moved draw a car and shape of shapes to challenges. But since they're here, I'm gonna do them anyway. So let's tackle the shape of shapes. So the first thing I think to notice here is that this circle 
is dead center. It starts at 200, 200, I believe. And these are circles are about 50 pixels wide and they overlap by half. So they overlap by 25 pixels, I believe. So let's start with this one in the middle and go from there. So, and how many are there? There's one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Well, I think there's 12 of these. So I'm gonna grab 12 ellipses. And we want to fill those purple. And there's our first one. Now, if this is at 200, 200, and they're overlapping by 25, I should be able to subtract 25 from my Y value and get the second one. So the second ellipse should be 175, there it is. And so we should just be able to keep subtracting 25. And there are the first five. Now, we're gonna, we're gonna reorder them later. Let's get them all positioned first and then we can drag and drop the blocks in the correct order. So I'm gonna make the other leg of this right triangle now and we're increasing the X value by 25 each time. I think I did one too many. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so this one, this last one should not be there. That one's actually gonna be, now we're gonna subtract 25 from the X and subtract 25 from the Y to get the hypotenuse made. So if this one was 300, 200, the next one should be 275, 175. Yep. And then we're gonna keep going with that. 250, 150, and 225, 125. And there is the shape of shapes but it doesn't look right because exactly right because they started we went backwards sort of so we should one two three four five this should be our first one no no these four should go first so my last four need to go to the top. Then this leg is next. And I think that would be these five. Go here. <laughs> oh, that's a mess. Ew. This guy is has the greatest X value. That's this. I'm gonna turn the grid on. 300, 200. That's this guy. Are these? Getting closer. And then this, so this is 300, 200. So this is 275, 200. And then we need 250, 200. And then 225, 200. And then 200, 200. And then 200. 175, 150, 125, 100. Boom. There it is. Woo! All right, that was a good one. And let's move on to level eight, the assessment. So we're supposed to make the, it look like this. So this is what we start with. We got to make it look like this. So this rectangle needs to be moved dead center. 
and it needs to be on top and it needs to be purple. So I think we can just move purple to the top here. That took care of that. And then it sh let's put the grid on. It needs to be positioned with its upper left corner here. And that is at 125, 125. That's not right. It's at 150, 150. And we need this to be the last thing drawn so it's on top. So we're gonna move this down. There it is. Done and done. I'm gonna skip the challenges this time because I need to finish this video and edit it. So thanks for watching if you made it this far. And we'll see you next time.